With another Winter Olympics upon us, I thought it would be best to cover a classic ice hockey title. Because let's be honest, the Korean Olympic hockey event this year will be a dud. And so if you're interested in star power, this is perhaps the place to be. Arriving almost a year to the date after the popular release of Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey comes the 98 edition bearing almost the exact same name. At this time in the console's lifespan, if you wanted hockey it was coming from Midway because they seemed to be the only developer who had any interest in giving us a fix. The problem for many however was that they yearned for a more simulation based experience as opposed to this series's over the top NBA Jam style arcade action. Taking feedback from simulation fans, Midway did pretty much nothing to appease them, and so instead Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98 is more of a reskinned, updated roster edition with a few minor, and I mean minor, tweaks over the previous offering. Graphically, the game looks pretty much identical to its predecessor. There are some minor changes to the advertising in game, but the same blocky low res textures are here, with the rink work seemingly exactly the same as it was the year before. You'd be hard pushed to notice any genuine changes and the character models appear to have no new animations and they still have the same chunky physiques and quirky fixed facial expressions. It would have been nice to have had a create a character mode for example added to this version of the game. That may have extended your interest in the title a little longer because the game modes are thin bare at best. There's a standard exhibition mode, a season and playoff mode and a practice mode. Don't get your hopes up by the options menu because changing the mode from arcade to simulation hardly changes the overall gameplay experience. The first game was a hit, however fans loved the over the top fast paced action and it was a great game to play with friends. The same applies with this title, however thankfully the AI has been improved quite a lot. The last title suffered from some poor goaltending and other player AI decisions. And whilst it's not perfect this time around, you will notice enough of an improvement to make this a slight challenge again, even if you've perfected scoring in the first game. Saying that though, it'd be best to up the difficulty right off the bat if you really want a challenge. Because on the easy difficulty, if you so much as sneeze near your controller, it'll likely result in a goal. Whilst this isn't much fun to play in it as a single player experience as you'll steamroll all of your opponents, in multiplayer this can lead to some insanely high scoring matchups which can add to the excitement. In the audio department, there's the same commentary which actually feels more repetitive this time around and some of the more humorous lines of dialogue seem to have been removed and replaced with some more generic phrases. Yes they become repetitive quickly and yes they will wear thin long before you win the Stanley Cup, but was it really that difficult for Midway to spice things up in such a simple area? The same could be said with the sound effects, controls, in fact pretty much every other area of this game, it will just bring you back with a feeling of deja vu. We all know Midway really screwed gamers with the Olympic Hockey 98 title, but at least that attempted to fool gamers into believing they were getting a great new game. Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98 quite simply does so little to improve from the first game, you'll actually be wondering if you are indeed playing the exact same game. If you're a collector this is a dirt cheap title to pick up and if you only want one hockey game in your collection I'd still say that this is the one to own. It's just a shame that for fans back in the day this would have felt like a punch in the mouth if you dropped the full retail price on it. Thankfully though I would imagine this was more of a weekend rental title for many but if there are any unfortunate kids who indeed got both versions of the game I would love to know how you felt when you pretty much realised that Midway had stolen your money. And so for today's topic of conversation, I'd love to know what makes you think a publisher can get away with this type of sham. Do you think it's basic apathy, or do you think that it's a more worrying sense or trend of really just expecting gamers to buy a sequel because they like the first title? Sound off in the comments section down below, and until next time.